Hi everyone, let's quickly solve for the value of x, okay? Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to simplify this. And by so doing, I've been looking at it and the first thing I did was to divide through by 4 to see what will actually happen, okay? So, I did 9 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of x minus 6 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of x okay now note that a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m can be written as a divided by b everything raised to the power of m okay all right then that means that we can rewrite this as 9 divided by 4 to the power of x minus 6 divided by 4 to the power of x is equal to 1 okay now, when you look at this, you will notice that 9 can be expressed as 3 squared, right? So, we can write this as 3 to the power of 2 divided by, and 4 can be written as 2 to the power of 2, okay? Everything raised to the power of x minus, then let's reduce this to its lowest term. What we do that when 2 divides 6, we are going to have 3. When 2 divides 4, we are going to have 2 to the power of x is equal to 1. All right. So we can rewrite this as what? 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 2, everything raised to the power of x, right? Minus 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of x is equal to 1. Now, we can rewrite this as when you have a to the power of m raised to the power of n. You can rewrite this as a to the power of n raised to the power of m. Okay, the position can be interchanged. Therefore, that means that we can rewrite this as what? 3 over 2 raised to the power of x, everything squared. Right? Okay, minus 2 over 3 over 2 raised to the power of x is equal to 1. Now, I hope you can see something. Yes, this and this, they have something in common, which is 3 over 2x. Now, we can say let 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of x be equal to y. Okay? If we say that, that means that we can write this as y to the power of, sorry, y to the power of 2 minus y is equal to 1. All right? That means we can write this as y squared minus y then this will come in to become minus 1 is equal to 0. All right, I know that at this point, some of you will be like, we have formed a quadratic equation. Let's just go ahead and solve. But recall that we're not looking for the value of y. We are looking for the value of x. So I'd like you to watch to the end and see how we got our x from our y. Okay? All right. So I'm going to rewrite the last equation here so that we can see it very well. So this is the equation we formed. y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, now we are going to solve this using the quadratic equation formula because we cannot really solve this by factorization. And the quadratic equation formula states that your y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. Okay, now... Our uh, a is the coefficient of y squared, which is 1. Our uh, b is the coefficient of y, which is minus 1. Our uh, c is our constant, which is also minus 1. So we are going to substitute the value, these values, into this place in order to get our y, okay? So we can write that y is equal to minus b. That is minus multiplied by minus 1. That is plus 1, right? So we have 1 plus or minus square root of b squared, that is minus 1 squared, okay, minus 4 multiplied by a, and a is 1, and c is minus 1. Everything divided by 2a, that is 2 times 1. That means we can write y as 1 plus or minus, square root of minus 1 squared is 1, then minus Minus 1 times 4 will give us minus 4. And minus 4 multiplied by this minus will give us plus 4. Divided by 2. So our y is 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Okay, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, 
please don't hesitate to give us a follow and click on that subscription button please so subscribe to the channel on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video and don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed the video okay all right so we have y is equal to one plus or minus square root of five divided by two therefore we can write the first value of y as one plus square root of five divided by two Okay, and the second value of y as 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. But when we solve this, you are going to get what? A number that is less than 0. Therefore, this is not real, right? So we are going to go on with the first value of y that says that y is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. So we go ahead and... Recall what we said or the first statement we made. Recall that we said let our y, oh, I've cleaned it. Recall that we said let y be equal to this 3 over 2, right? So if we make that statement, that simply means that we can rewrite this as 3 over 2, right? 3 over 2, sorry, to the power of x. To the power of x, that is our y, is equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Okay, so we can now solve this, but the only thing we can do here is to apply our log reading. Okay, so let's apply our log reading. So we can say that log 3 over 2 to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Now, in log reading, if you have log a to the power of b, this is same thing as b multiplied by log a. Okay. So that means that we can rewrite this as x multiplied by log 3 over 2, okay, is equal to log 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Okay, then to get the value of x, we are going to divide both sides of this equation by log 3 over 2. So divided by log 3 over 2, divided by log 3 over 2. Okay. So we can write that our x is equal to, because this we divide this, and we are left with x. So our x is equal to log 1 plus root 5 divided by 2, everything divided by log 3 over 2. You can press this in your calculator, and you're going to get 1.18 something, something like that. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day.